Today we're going to be taking a look at and feeding some of my giant beetle larvae. This right here is a Dynasties larvae. It's about 2 to 3 inches long which is already quite large but the ones we're going to be feeding are even bigger. The larvae we're going to be feeding today are my Goliathus beetle larvae. They're in these large containers because they can get over 3 to 4 inches long and as I open it up you can already see some movement which means there's a hungry larvae inside that needs to be fed. I also need to switch out the substrate in their containers. They've been in here for a couple of weeks and over time poop and other contaminants build up so it's best to give them a new clean home. As I pull it out you can truly begin to appreciate just how massive these are. Sometimes in your garden you may find a grub or two which probably won't be longer than 1 to 2 inches. These are easily 3 to 4 times the size and the weight of these and they'll continue to get even larger in the weeks to come. Right before they pupate, they can reach a weight up to 100 grams, which is one of the largest in the world. Right there you can see the little pellets, which is actually the poop of the larvae. So we're going to be dumping the substrate in this container out and filling it with some fresh one before we can feed it. The interesting thing about this species is that while a lot of beetle larvae specialize in eating decayed organic material, such as rotting leaves or wood, Goliath beetles are unique in that their diet as a larvae has to be very very high in protein in order for them to be able to grow. I believe their exact diet in the wild is not known, but it's hypothesized that these are actually predatory, meaning that with their huge jaws, these larvae will prey on the larvae of other beetles and that's how they get their nutrition. In captivity however, it's easier to feed them by giving them high protein fish pellets which is what I have right here. Each larvae, despite its size, can eat around 10 pellets every 2 days and if you stop feeding them for a couple of days, they will quickly begin losing weight and you'll end up with smaller adults so it's important to stay on top of their feeding in order to reach the maximum size possible. You can see how thick it is right here and as I'm putting the pellets on the surface of the substrate for the larvae to eat, you can tell how it's beginning to bury itself under the cocoa fiber and over the next couple of seconds you will see how it completely hides out of sight and it's surprising because it only has 6 legs located right at the front of its body yet it's surprisingly good at digging. I've already had these larvae for a couple of months and so far none of them show signs of wanting to pupate which is when they actually build a casing of dirt around themselves in order to then turn from a larvae into an adult. I'm going to keep feeding them as much as I can to try to get them to the biggest size possible but I can't wait to show you guys if these actually survive until adulthood how big they are when they hatch. Considering that goliath beetles are suspected to be predatory in the wild and the fact that they have huge jaws which would make sense in order for them to be able to eat the babies of other beetle species, I was considering if I should try to find someone to sell me beetle larvae of another species so we could watch the goliath beetle larvae in action hunting the babies of other beetle species. I think this would be incredible because as far as I know, I don't think it's a, been a behavior that's been documented in captivity and if we could get that footage, that would be amazing to watch. Feel free to let me know what you guys think I should do on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time.